Yo, so Ableton announced Ableton Live 12, and one of the biggest updates or feature updates there is the generation tools, the MIDI generation tools. And let's check out using the Seed generation tool how to create essentially endless bass lines for house, techno, whatever you want. Let's check it out. Okay, so here I have just a kick. And here I have just a log drum bass preset. This is free from our website. I'll link it down below. And just sidechain to the kick. Okay, sweet. Let's create a clip. Uh, let's bring this up. Let's make the clip smaller, like half a bar. Zoom in, zoom out. Okay, nice. Now I'm going to go right here to the generation tools, the MIDI generation tools. And the second option would be the seed. I have a video about programming JD Beck style drums with the new rhythm generator. I'll link it. But uh, let's check out the seed. The seed essentially can create uh, just a sequence of notes uh, according to these settings. So first of all, the pitch uh, range, it's really up to us what, uh, what are we trying to do here. But let's uh, do usually for bass, let's do from like zero to two. See the octaves? Okay, nice. Everything, of course, will keep in our global key, which is right now F Dorian. And it's also automatically set up here. So everything that we create with these generation tools will stay in key. Um, for the duration, it's really up to us. This looks like a good range. And velocity as well, it really depends on the instrument, if the instrument actually have something the change with velocity. So this might not do anything. Voices is how many voices we want at once. So uh, in, uh, for our case, just a baseline, we're going to do one. And density is how many spaces you're going to have between the notes, essentially. I'm going to go all the way, just fill it up. Nice. And uh, if I click this generate, it's going to give me endless stuff. Let's say uh, launch this clip and play it. Let's go down even lower here. And regenerate. It's endless. Nice. Now, what's important to note is that right here, the grid, when you change the grid, I'm going to hit Command 1 to make it smaller. Now, uh, it's going to also start the notes according to the grid. So it's going to be also... Oh, uh, let's delete this for a second. We'll layer them in a second. It might be interesting. But uh, as you'll see, we're going to have some 30 second notes. which is kind of maybe it depends on what you're making. Let's go back to 16th note grid and delete all the notes and generate. Okay, now I can click in the background to commit this and just click again. Now, if your instrument is monophonic and maybe have some glide uh, setting in, the, in it, you can create some crazy lines here right here. Right, we have we have some gliding, I think, though. And now I don't even know what's happening. It's like starting to only do the attack and there's only noise. So we get also some percussion from there. Anyway, the new seed generator uh, in Ableton Live 12 is insane, at least for this type of things. I'm still exploring with chords and stuff. It's hard to tame it when it comes to more voices. It's hard for me, like, it's, you see, it's creating insane stuff. So I'm still trying to see what we can do with more voices. I will continue exploring and reporting. Uh, so hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time.